challenge to using the leak track in a pool is that leaks aren't always the only connection to ground. In this case, we're getting a real strong reading at the light because of the metal niche that's a strong connection to ground and is giving us a strong leak track reading. In order to make leaks easier to find in the swimming pool, it's helpful if we can cover or eliminate any of those non-leak connections to ground that we can. Okay, so the light cover is going to be used to cover these underwater pool lights. This is a big acrylic dome that's electrically insulating, and we have a flexible gasket around the outside. This is actually a blown up bicycle inner tube. We find that it works the best in order to make a seal against the, the, um, the walls of the swimming pool, even if they're a radius wall. What we're doing with the light cover is we are going to um, put it over the light, and then using these hoses that are attached to it, we're going to pump the water out from behind the light cover. So we're basically lowering the water level behind the light cover in relation to the water in the pool. We have two hoses here. These hoses are going to have to stay on the pool deck. We're going to capture a little bit of air in this light cover as we put it down over the light. That'll keep it in place. And then we use the hand pump to pump water out from behind the light cover. So as we pump the water out from behind the light cover, we'll be able to see the water level actually go down. And we know then that there's enough differential in the, the pressure that the weight of the pool water is going to hold the light cover against the wall long enough for us to do our leak track test. Mm -hmm.